Hey guys, so I got a, er, we, as a collab, got a huge letter from Claire51423, and she was asking all these amazing questions, and I'm not going to read it because it's a little long, but I'm not saying it's a bad thing that's long because it's, it's actually really good, um, but she is saying she's 10 years old, turning 11 in October, awesome, uh, let's see, She's had all these different things that would go along with before you get your period. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to, like, answer questions, all that stuff. So, how I knew, or I know now how I knew I was going to get my period was pubic hair. Um, pubic hair is a big, um, like, what is it? A big, like, I don't know. Like, it's just a big signal, like, you're going to get your period soon. So, that, if you start to go pubic hair, that's probably, you're probably going to get your period within a month, or it could be a lot later, but for me, it was pubic hair. Um, also, breast development and growth spurts, that's a big one. Um, discharge wasn't a big one for me because it took me about two years after I had after I first got discharged to actually get my period so I don't know uh but and 10 years old is not too young to get your period um my friend got hers when she was 10 or yeah 10 years old so it doesn't matter what age you are as long as you, I would figure from ages 10 to Hmm. 10 to 14 is normally your first period range or a little bit older maybe but yeah um she was wondering how to ask your mom for like pads and a bra uh I said which a lot of girls say this if you write a note and say like hey mom uh I haven't got my period yet but I was just wondering if we could go to the store sometime and shop for a bra and get some pads because I want to be ready um, for if it does happen because it seems like because you could say you were watching videos on YouTube or something. If she doesn't like that, then I wouldn't put that. But, like, I don't know. Like, uh, let's see. Oh, and it, I am... <sighs> I know, like, maybe if she gave you some pads, be like, I know you gave me some, but I just would like to have some for myself and be ready and prepared because I've heard lots of different signs, and I think I have a lot of the signs for before I'm going to get my period, so could we go shopping maybe tomorrow or next week or whatever uh, to go get that stuff? And it's anything along those lines. It's your mother. I think you know. I know... You guys know way more about your mother than I do. I don't know your mother, okay? But, basically, I just do that. Um, my mom is pretty laid back and cool about that stuff, so I can pretty much ask whatever. So, yeah. But, anyways. Um, I recommend the pads I recommend. Um, I don't recommend using tape on your first period. That is not a good idea. Um, I recommend the Always Infinity which, these are overnight, but they're the same as Always Infinity. They're just longer. So, yeah. Because I don't wear pads, so. Well, I wear these pads. But, yeah. Come out. <laughs> okay. So, this is what they look like. And I'll open one up for you. And, um, if you guys don't know how to open and put a pad on, I'll show you. So, yeah. Okay, so gonna rip whoops and sometimes it will stick like that you just gotta push it down and then you take this and there's like a little pocket and then flip it back okay so you have a pad right this on the always infinity overnight I don't know if it has an always infinity but it says pad front and it's shooting upward so the thinner part on always infinity is the top Okay, that's the top. Then the bigger part, you see how it gets like small and then bigger? Okay, the bigger part's where your butt's gonna go. So, and just so you guys know, pad isn't really this long. This is longer than a normal pad, but yeah. And this is the same for all pads. No pads are any different, really. 
And then there's the, this thing is covering up the wings. And I'll show you guys the wings in a second. But I'm going to take it off. Okay, and then pretend this is your underwear. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, so you're going to put it here. And you might want to sit down and form your underwear for this because it's a little bit easier. And then like this and then down. Okay. See how it's like that? Okay. Then you're going to take, take this. Fold or take the wings and try not to make them stick together. Okay. So the wings are like this, right? You're going to pull one of them go around and stick it on. It'll be on the back of your panty, but I'm just showing it with my hand. And then do the same with the other. And then you have your pad on. Um, so yeah, that's the same for every pad. And you can leave them on to up to four hours, but with pads, there's not TSS. And um, with tampons, there is. So it just is all like, some people prefer pads because there's no health with no big health risk with it. Some people like tampons because you can't feel them. I like tampons better. I'm just, that's just me. So, it's all personal preference, really. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not like someone's forcing you, unless they are, that's kind of weird, forcing you to do something. Because, yeah, it's all you. Like, somebody shouldn't be butting in saying, you should wear this, this, and this. Like, they can be like, oh, I think you should wear this because it, it'd be better for you or something. But they shouldn't be like, oh, you have to wear this, this, and that. That's not cool. So, yeah. But, anyways. Uh, I also recommend, if you think you're going to start your period, I would get a small box of pads, not a big box. Just in case you don't start in a while and you, I don't know, other stuff. I don't know. And also, if you don't want to ask your mom for some pads or something, and your mom will let you, like, I don't know, like, have something sent to your house, like, some, if you had a pen pal or something and she let you, like, send stuff through the mail or get something in the mail, then you could do this. But, basically, what you can do is you can go on, um, beinggirl.com. This is a great website, um, it's B-E-I-N-G. G I R L dot com. So, you know, type that up there in the bar. Yeah, up in that uh where okay. Eh. Eh. Up there in the URL bar. Okay. Type it up there and go on and press free samples. Um or free stuff or whatever it is. And you can they can send you a package that is completely free. I've gotten it before. They don't spam you. They don't email you. They don't do anything. They just send you this package. Basically what it has in it, and you don't have to sign up for anything. It's completely free. Like, totally, completely free. Um, what it has in it is, like, a bunch of different, like, always pads, uh, Tampax, tampons, uh, um, little wipes, uh, little pamphlets. It's a really great little kit. So... I recommend getting that. I think they're out right now, but later on you can get that. And it takes a little while to get to your house, so don't worry. But you can also go on, like, Poise. Um, now, Poise is actually for bladder protection, but I don't see a difference between bladder protection and menstrual pads. I don't know. I don't really see the difference. I guess they're thicker, I guess. I don't know. But you can go on Poise and you can get pads from there although it is bladder protection pads you can you can use them for menstrual and yeah so good um if you do want to start using tampons you can um i started using tampons my second period period so yeah i've heard that playtex glide um slender is better to try out for um starting your peer, or like starting to use tampons. Uh, I started using Tampax Pearl. Now, they're not the best. Um, I've heard better reviews on Playtex. So I just go with Playtex. So yeah. I guess that's about it. Hmm. 
trying to think of anything else. Okay. Um, so, I guess that's it. And thank you, Claire51423, for asking your questions. And I am the one who sent that message. Not the other Katie. I'm the one. But Katie's still good. Yeah, Katie's good. Um, check out everyone else's amazing, um, videos. That's what they're called. Okay. Videos, because they're really awesome. Yeah. Ashley, Annalise, Katie, me. Who was the one who started this? Wow. I forgot the one who started. That is Allie. I knew that. Okay, sorry. If I'm forgetting anyone else, comment down below and I'll do something about it. So yeah, check out everyone on this collab channel. It's an amazing channel with amazing girls. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Oh no, it won't stop. Okay, bye.